What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Billboard John 25. Today, I'm going to do my Friday night SmackDown review. And what's also you guys are new, hit that red button. Give me, give me a thumbs up, and let's get started. SmackDown was a decent show. It was not the best show. It was just a, de it was just a decent show. We thought that we were going to get CM Punk coming to SmackDown, but we didn't see Smack we didn't see CM Punk coming to SmackDown. That's all I got to say. SmackDown was a decent show. But I'm finna read what happened on SmackDown, so you guys pay attention. Vince, Vince and Stephanie McMahon walks out on the ramp and welcome everyone to Fox and SmackDown. Um, In-ring segment with Becky Lynch. I really enjoyed this segment. Becky Lynch says, it feels good to be on SmackDown tonight. Becky Lynch thanks the SmackDown crowd for using their voice to, uh, to lift her up. Baron Corbin interrupts. Baron Corbin says he should be staring off the show. Corbin asks Becky Lynch if she's really think, still thinks she is the man. And, and Becky Lynch tells Baron Corbin to take one more step and he will find out. The rock music hits. No one's surprised. The rock stands on the ramp and takes off his jacket. The rock power rocks to the ring. The rock dabs up with Becky Lynch. The Rock mentioned that years ago that he told some jabronis that he will that he was going to lay the SmackDown on on him, and and, and it turned into a phenomenon and, and phenomenon. It all made it possible for The Rock to stand to stand to stand her with the man and Corbin, who looks like a broke burger. King on crack. I laugh at this segment. This segment was too funny, man. This segment was too funny. But continue. Baron Corbin tells The Rock that this isn't his home and and that we are all looking at the most electrifying king. The Rock tells Corbin that just because you won King of the Ring, that doesn't make him a king. Becky Lynch is the man, but you don't but he says, but you don't See her walking around with a pair of testicles in, in her hand. Becky Lynch adds, if, that's if she did, they would be much bigger than, than Corbin's. Baron Corbin says his testicles are the quake. The Rock asks Corbin what he thinks and before Corbin can answer. Becky Lynch calls Barry Corbin off and tells him it doesn't matter. The Rock tries to put Corbin over. Becky Lynch says Corbin is a super tough dude. The Rock gets an STD chant started. Becky Lynch tells Corbin, Baron Corbin that it is going to stick with Baron Corbin for life. The Rock and Becky Lynch beat the crap out of Baron Corbin. The Rock hits the people's elbows, following by the Rock bottom. I really enjoyed this in-ring segment with Becky Lynch and The Rock. I really enjoyed it. Um, um, what else happened on Sm on Friday, on Friday SmackDown? All right, it says Becky Lynch and Charlotte versus Sasha Banks and Bailey. This match was decent. This match, we've seen this match before. We, then we get, the, then we get this again. It says, um, Flair sneaks attacks Bailey, Banks and Bailey double team Flair, whipping her into the corner. Charlotte Flair lights Banks up with a few knife eight head chops. Charlotte Flair knocks Banks off the apron. Charlotte Flair goes up top. Ba Bailey pushes Flair's off the top. After the break, Flair mentions managed to tag in Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch tosses Bailey around in the ring. Becky Lynch tries to lock in the dis disarm her, but Bailey escapes. Becky Lynch hits the Irish jam off the top. For a near fall, Charlotte Flair tags in and 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 neutral section on Bailey. Banks and Charlotte Banks breaks up the pin. All of all four women start to brawl. Um, missile draw kick by Becky Lynch to Banks. Sasha Banks and Bailey are both outside the ring. Charlotte Flair takes Sasha Banks and Bailey out with a moonsault off the top. Charlotte Flair puts Bailey in a figure four, figure four eight lock, and Bailey taps. Good thing that Bailey did not get pinned, but Bailey um, Bailey taps out to Charlotte Flair. The winners of the match: Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair. Backstage, Aaron and.
Andrews interviewed the New Day. Kofi Kingston says he he knows her. He is the underdog because he always always is. Andrew asks if Woods and Big E would be at ringside. Woods says Kofi. Woods says Kingston asks Nick behind. Seth Rollins walks in the ring into the ring in his match. Bray Wyatt appears on the Target Tron for an episode of the Firefly Funhouse, which is I enjoy anyway. Bray Wyatt introduced everyone to his friend, Rambling Rabbit, and dresses as Seth Rollins. Rambling is Rollins' biggest fan. Rambling tells Rollins not to step in the hell in the cell with the fiend. Wyatt puts a Rambling in the cage with Mercy in the buzzer to show Rollins what is going to happen with him. Mercy rips Rambling Rabbit apart. Wyatt tells Rollins that it's Rollins' turn to hurt. Rollins, I mean Bray Wyatt will see Rollins in in hell. Okay, this is what he said. This is this is I enjoy. This is I really enjoy. Um, I really I really enjoy that segment. Then we see Seth Rollins. Yeah, Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins versus Shinsuke Nakamura with Sami Zayn. This match was. This match is okay. This match was okay. Seth Rollins changes, not changes, I'm sorry. Seth Rollins charge in, but Nakamura rolls him into a flying armbar. Seth Rollins lifts Nak Shinsuke Nakamura off the mat and power bombs him into a corner. Shinsuke Nakamura rolls out of the ring. Seth Rollins hits a suicide dive. Shinsuke Nakamura almost hits the King Shaza. Seth Rollins moves out of the way. Rollins super kicks Shinsuke Nakamura. Seth Rollins calls for the stump. The lights go out and and Rollins runs up to the ramp. Shinsuke Nakamura is in the ring looking around. The Fiend attacks Seth Rollins from behind. The Fiend puts Rollins in, in the manable claw. The Fiend launches Rollins off the stage. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. The Fiend Bray Wyatt keeps attacking Seth Rollins over and over again. It says the winner, no contents. You're fired. You're fired. Um, it you, you says you're fired. Ladder match. Kevin Owens versus Shane McMahon. This was the match of the night. This was the match of the night. I ain't gonna lie. This was a good match. But I'm happy Shane McMahon got fired. Kevin Owens attacked Shane during his entrance. Kevin Owens sends Shane into the ring steps. Kevin Owens sets a ladder. Between the barricade and the ring, Shane bangs Shane's head into the ladder. Kevin Owens sets up the ladder in the ring. Owens tries to climb, but Shane Shane pulls Kevin Owens off the ladder. Shane Russian leg sweeps Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens tosses a ladder at Shane, but Shane ducks. The ladder almost hits the commentary team. Shane Shane drop kicks a ladder into Kevin Owens' face. Shane hits Owens in the back with a ladder. Shane McMahon clears off the commentary desk. Shane Shane McMahon lays Owens on the desk. Shane McMahon dives off to the top rope and elbow drops Kevin Owens through the through, through the table. After the break, Kevin Owens put Shane through a ladder with a frog splash to the outside. Kevin Owens tries to climb the ladder in the ring. Shane McMahon cuts Kevin Owens off with a few chair shots. Shane McMahon hits the coast to coast with a ladder. Shane McMahon climbs the ladder, um, climbs the ladder, but Kevin Owens gets to his feet. Kevin Owens pulls Shane McMahon off the ladder and power bombs Shane McMahon on a ladder. Kevin Owens climbs the ladder and uh, hooks the briefcase for the win. The winner of the match, Kevin Owens. Now this match was good. This match was good. This is the only match I enjoy. Then what else happened? Then after that, uh, we see uh, we go to um, we go to backstage and we see Paul Heyman says Rey Mysterio was in the in Brock Lesnar's way, so Lesnar got rid of him. Les Brock Lesnar is going to do the same tonight. Braun Strowman, The Miz, and Harry Machinery versus Dolph Ziggler. Bobby Roode, Randy Orton, and AJ Styles. This this match, 
This match, I was not, like, I seen this match, but this match was too quick. This match was too quick. So, um, that's all I gotta say. A zigzag, Z Z Dolph Ziggler zigzags miss. Strowman tags in and destroys Dolph Ziggler. Everyone hits a finisher until Ziggler and Strowman are the only men left in the ring. Braun Strowman runs over on the outside. Strowman gets in in Fury's face. Strowman power slams Ziggler for the win. The winners of the six-man tag, which is which is not that bad. Six-man tag match was not that bad to me. That's the only way I see it. The winner of the match, Braun Strowman, the Miz, and Heavy Machinery. After the match, Fury jump, Tyson Fury jumps the barricade what looks like a, a billion security guards holding Fury back. Now, several, no, I'm sorry, not several ones. A Lumberjack match. Roman Reigns versus Eric Rowan. This match was just doesn't make any sense at all but it was just this match was not my favorite but it was just decent this ma this Lama Jack match was pretty decent Eric Rowan, Eric Roman sends Roman Reigns to the outside the hill sends Reigns back into the ring Rain, Roman Reigns close lines bronze I mean I mean Eric Rowan to the outside Eric Rowan fights with all the lumberjacks Rain, Roman Reigns tries to hit the drive-by, but, but Eric Rowan catches Reigns and slams him into the barricade. The Lumberjack stumps Reigns on the outside. After the break, Eric Rowan has Roman Reigns in the head vice. Rain, Roman Reigns fires up and lands a Samoan drop. Eric, Eric Rowan kicks out. Um, Roman Reigns Superman punches. Eric Gorman, Luke Harper walks the ring, walks to the ringside and gets into a brawl with the Lumberjacks. Daniel Bryan gets involved. Roman Reigns dives out of the ring into a to into everyone. Eric Gorman gets to his feet and powers and power bombs. Ali into into Reigns. Eric Rowan calls for a Iron Claw. Roman Reigns fights out of it. And lands another Superman punch. Luke Harper clotheslines Roman Reigns. Brian, Daniel Bryan blasts Harper with with a bullet cool knee. Roman Reigns spears Eric Rowan for the win. And says right here, the winner of the match. The winner of the match, Roman Reigns. After the match, Bryan and Reigns shake hands. The WWE Championship. Title match: Kofi Kingston versus Brock Lesnar with Paul Heyman. This match was just sloppy. This match was just sloppy. It was just sloppy. Just sloppy. As soon as the bell rings, Kofi Kofi Kingston charge and and gets F five by Brock Lesnar wins. The winner of the winner of the match and new WWE champion Brock Lesnar. After the match, Rey Mysterio walks out of. Walks on the walks on the ramp with Clay Van Cl Van Lesnar looks like he has seen a ghost. Chain double double legs Lesnar and runs down right and left. Lesnar rolls out of the rolls out of the ring and runs away. Now this that WWE Championship between Kofi Kingston versus Brock Lesnar that match was just sloppy. That match was just sloppy. Kofi Kingston is a jobber now. He is a jobber. So Brock Lesnar ends Kofi Kingston's title reign. You know what I'm saying? It was a good title reign for Kofi Kingston. But Brock Lesnar had to beat Kofi Kingston to become your new WWE champion. You know what I'm saying? Um, this match this match was, was like a 10-second match. It was just a 10-second match. But this match right here was just sloppy. The main event was just sloppy. Now Kofi Kingston is a chopper now. But that's all I gotta say from there. Before I end this video, I just wanna give some quick shout outs. Shout outs to TM161, Happy Boy Chris, shout outs to you, DJ Storm, shout outs to you, AC from New York, shout outs to you, Cold Trains, K9J, Semi Talks, man. 
Shout out to all my KFG family, man. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart, and I care about the YouTube community. But anyway, if you guys enjoy my Friday Night SmackDown review and results, give me a thumbs up. Comment down below what you guys think of SmackDown. SmackDown Live, not SmackDown Live. Friday Night SmackDown started off hot until it wins downhill. This this Smack, Friday Night SmackDown was a decent show. That's all I got to say from there. But this your boy, Bilbo John 25 I will talk to you guys later, and I'm out of here.